hey, T-Rex, Velociraptor, and Allosaurus aren't the only theropods out there. Here are 12 underrated theropods. Number 12, Corvosaurus. This Jurassic predator is a close relative of Megalosaurus, and is said to be one of the biggest Jurassic carnivores that ever lived. Now, there's only two species of Torosaurus. There's Torosaurus tenerei and Torosaurus gunnerei. Torosaurus tenerei was found in the famous Morton Formation in Colorado, and Torosaurus gunnerei was found in the Lahaina, if I'm pronouncing that right, formation in Portugal. Now, both species had competi competition with Allosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, and Sol Faganax. Number 11, Marshall Saurus. Like Torosaurus before, Marshall Saurus was also found in the Morrison Formation, but Marshall Saurus was found in the Utah site of the formation. Marshall Saurus was named after famous paleontologist Othel Charles Marsh, one of the two paleontologists that started the famous Bone Wars of 1877 to 1882, who had a number of 80 new species of dinosaurs at the time. Now, like Torosaurus, Mosasaurus had a share of the same competition to compete with at the time. Number 10, Majungasaurus. This is one of the few dinosaurs to be found on the island of Madagascar. But Majungasaurus is the only large carnivore that was ever found on the island. It lived in the late Cretaceous during the last few days. Now, Majungasaurus is infamous for one thing. It was known for being as a cannibalistic dinosaur. Now despite the big prey it had at the time, what could have driven the dinosaurs to eat each other? Some paleontologists think that Majungasaurus would only eat one another if they were A. Very desperate or B. There wasn't any food source around. By the way, did you know that when Majungasaurus was first discovered, it was actually mistaken for a Pachycelophosaur? Number 9. Tarbosaurus, Also known as an Asian T-Rex, this predator was found in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. Although it is slightly smaller than its North American cousin, Tarbosaurus is still the second largest Tyrannosaur on the planet. But like its cousin, Tarbosaurus also shared the same prey. It hunted Hadrosaurus, Ceratopsians, and Rhizopods, or whatever else you can get its mouth on. Plus, it also hunted a couple of sauropods found in the area too. Number 8. Herrerasaurus. This medium sized dinosaur was named after Andean goat herder Victorino Herrera, who found the fossils just near the city of San Juan. People tell you say that Herrerasaurus was one of the first dinosaurs to roam the earth. It was different compared to other theropods because it had one unique feature. A sliding jaw. Sliding jaws are more of a common thing in modern day reptilians, not in any other dinosaur. However, with herosaurs, these sliding jaws allowed the dinosaur to rake its teeth in the prey and probably to hold them down. Number 7. Coelophysis. The official state dinosaur of the Mexico was the actual forerunner of the dinosaurs. It had many features that all theropods will later have, like the S-shaped neck, the recurved serrated teeth, and the forelimbs that most theropods would have. Coelophysis was once thought to have been a cannibal when first discovered, but in 2002, paleontologist Robert Gay discovered that it was a reptile called Hesperosuchus that was in Coelophysis' stomach, not young Coelophysis. Number 6. Noft Rhinoncus. This dinosaur belonged to a group of theropods called the Therizinosaurs. It was actually the first Therizinosaur to be found in North America. The first fossils were found in the Mexico near the Zuni Basin. Paleontologists have described Noft Rhinoncus to have long arms, a long neck, and a pot belly. While most Therizinosaurs had long claws, Noft Rhinoncus had sloth like claws. Hence why his name means Sloughful Claw. Number 5. Sucomimus. 
This Spinosaur relative lived in the country of Niger, Africa during the early Cretaceous period. This dinosaur was one of the two theropods that helped reconstruct its Spinosaurus, the other being Baryonyx. Much like its larger relative, Sucumimus would have adapted to the legs, which meant it ate fish, but it could have given to even meat if given the opportunity. Now, Sucumimus got seen because obviously a skull looks similar to that of a croc. Plus, Sucumimus did share its habitat with the super croc itself, Sarcosuchus. Number 4 Carcarodontosaurus, a close relative of the mighty Allosaurus. This huge African predator is often mistitled, dubbed as the African T Rex, even though obviously it's not. Fossils of this massive predator have been found in Egypt, Algeria, Niger, and Morocco. Plus, this predator shared its habitat with the super croc, also, and Spinosaurus. Its name means shark toothed lizard because of its serrated teeth that look similar to that of a great white shark. Number 3 Deinonychus. Unlike that of Utahraptor and Velociraptor, Deinonychus really doesn't get that much attention compared to the other two. This is one of the few dinosaurs that have been discovered to have a pack mentality. Plus, the speed of Deinonychus wasn't that fast. It could run up to like 6 miles per hour. Not fast, but almost fast enough to catch a human. Now that is scary either way. Number 2 Acrocanthosaurus. A relative of the previously mentioned Carcarodontosaurus, this huge apex predator lived about 57 million years in North America before T Rex came into the picture. Now, the reason why I mentioned that. He's a relative of Carcarodontosaurus, is because that some people think that he's a relative of Spinosaurus because of the spine, which he's not. But like Spinosaurus, no one knows the purpose of the spines, if it was to keep him cool from the heat, or might have increased its hunting abilities. Agrocanthosaurus fossils have been found in Oklahoma, Texas, Wyoming, and as far as Maryland. Now that is an impressive range. Now before we get to our number one theropod, here is an honorable mention. Sorofaganax was a large Jurassic predator that was found in Oklahoma and possibly New Mexico. With its name meaning lizard eating master, Sorofaganax was the top predator of the Jurassic. So why is he an honorable mention? Because there is a debate whether Sorofaganax was a species of its own or a species of Allosaurus. Until the answer comes, Sorofaganax is an honorable mention. Number 1 Megalosaurus. This was the first dinosaur to be discovered in history, along with Iguanodon. When it first discovered in England, some experts at the time thought it was a Roman war elephant or a biblical giant, kind of like Goliath. But then, Reverend William Buckland, George C George's career, and William Conybear took a closer look at the fossils and noticed they were reptilian. But there was many great debates throughout centuries on how Megalosaurus could look like. But in the 1990s, scientists finally got right. It's funny how one of the first dinosaurs doesn't get much attention, even though he should after all. Again, one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered in history, people.